Hey everyone, this is Fidel Hakur, AJ Raven, and I'm here with my recap and review of Digimon Adventures, the anime episode number 46, which is titled The Sword of Hope. And of course, I ended up enjoying this episode because, yeah, my favorite character in this series is Takiro and Enjiamon. And in this episode, we finally saw Enjiamon unlock his ultimate form, which is Magna Enjiamon. But before we get to that, the episode opens with Joe feeling uh, car sick, basically. And uh, Mimi and Sora uh, tell him to go and watch the scenery, and he does. And as he's looking outside, he notices this giant green uh, sphere in the sky, which he's like, wait, is that the moon? No, that's not the moon. And uh, everyone stops, and they are searching for what Joe saw. Because the kids uh, think that he might be, he might be seeing things because he's, uh, you know, carsick. But then again, uh, it, it turns out that they are actually being followed by a giant Digimon and it's called uh, Sephirothmon, which is basically made uh, of like 10 spheres and it's huge and it starts uh, sucking everyone in. Yamato, Taichi, Takiro and Koshiro end up being sucked in while the rest of the children are able to uh, run away. And uh, this is where we get to know from Tailmon that, uh, what uh, Sephirothmon is capable of. And apparently there's an entire data world inside Sephirothmon. And Sephirothmon's uh, basic mission is to, uh, is to conduct calculations after absorbing data. And because Kojiro, uh, Taichi, Yamato, and Takiro are inside Sephirothmon, this is where Sephirothmon starts extracting uh, battle data from their digipartners. And that ends up creating these... Uh, weird digital copies of all of the Digimon that they fought. Now, it is shared that these aren't necessarily the, necessarily the real thing and they aren't as strong as the real thing. However, the sheer number is way too tough for the, Digi, uh, for the chosen children and their Digimon, so they have to be careful. And yeah, outside we see Sephirothmon trying to suck in the rest of the chosen children and they're running away. Taichi and the rest have no option uh, but to fight. And yeah, everyone uh, digivolves and we see Patamon digivolving into Engeomon. Uh, again, we cut to Tailmon. And basically, according to Tailmon, Sephirothmon wants to extract as much data as possible because they, because uh, these evil Digimon are, trying, are working on creating a vessel for Millenniumon. And that's specific vessel is supposed to be created by combining uh all, uh, combining different data and parts of uh, powerful Digimon to create this weird chimera thing. Basically, the ultimate Digibody for uh, Millenniumon. While Takiro and the rest are fighting, we see that when it comes to Ingeomon, the data that's extracted from him is basically Devimon. And uh, it turns out that uh, this copy of Devimon is uh, different from the rest of the copies that the children are fighting. This Devimon is basically closer to reality. And yeah, this episode ends up sharing a lot of information about uh, Devimon's connection to Angiomon. As Angiomon and Devimon are fighting, Devimon keeps on taunting Angiomon. And uh, Devimon basically says that uh, Angiomon, you have to let go. You have to be free. Uh, considering all of the power that you have, I can't understand why you uh, you have handed that power over to human children. You, If you end up being free and if you end up tapping into your power yourself, you can basically take over the world. Everyone is fighting inside Sephirothmon. I also liked how the rest of the children are trying to fight Sephirothmon from the outside. And as Grudomon and everyone else are uh, attacking Sephiroth, uh, Sephirothmon's uh, body, Sephirothmon, because it has extracted data from uh, Greymon and everyone else inside of it, it starts using uh, Greymon's, uh, Battle Greymon's Gigastorm and uh, Grudamon's uh, Kaiser Nails and all of that stuff. So, of course, the rest of the children are worried. They're like, wait, Sephirothmon is picking up on our data way too quickly. So, should we be fighting uh, at our full potential or should we be, or should we hold back in order to not give enough data to Sephirothmon? While Angiomon and uh, Devimon are fighting, this is where we learn more about uh, Devimon and how he was created now. At first, I thought maybe Devimon was basically... Uh, an Angiomon that ended up being uh, covered by darkness and taken over by darkness and all of that stuff. But no, it turns out that uh, uh, Devimon that we have that the kids have been fighting is actually part of Angiomon because uh, after after the war, Angiomon said that he saw himself uh, trapped in this miasma, and then uh, after his wings were taken away, Devimon was created, and basically Devimon is Angiomon's reflection. 
uh, or part of Angiomon reflected on uh, darkness. So yeah, De Angiomon basically gave rise to Devimon and these two are will forever be connected. Angiomon basically refers to Devimon as his dark shadow, which makes a lot of sense in order to explain what kind of connection these two have. As the fight continues, Devimon keeps on taunting Angiomon about how the chosen, one, uh, chosen ones are basically a curse because these chosen Digimon are dependent on their human partners in order to digivolve and all of that stuff. However, true power, if you really want true power, you should be able to digivolve by yourself. And Devimon is basically telling Angiomon to let Takiro go. He needs to cut uh, his ties with the chosen one. And we see Angiomon uh, starting to be taken over by darkness and basically Devimon, uh, Devimon wants uh, Angiomon to kill Takiro. Considering the type of character that Takiro is, Takiro is like, no, I'm not going to leave Angiomon alone. I'm going to stand here. And yeah, Takiro doesn't run away, which I really liked as a uh, again, because Takiro is my favorite character from this uh, show. And Takiro is like, yeah, I'm going to stand my ground. And I'm because I know that Ingeomon will never be taken over by darkness. Because again, Takiro has a crest of hope. And he's hoping that Ingeomon can come back to the light. And yeah, that hope uh, ends up working. And we see that Ingeomon... Uh, ends up uh, transforming into Magna Ingeomon because of the power of hope that Takiro gives him. And uh, Ingeomon is able to disperse Devimon. And he is like, you know what, Devimon, even though I understand that you're indestructible and that you will continue to exist as long as I exist, uh, the power of hope is more powerful than uh, darkness. So I can get rid of you whenever necessary. And yeah, we see uh, Magna Ingeomon in uh, in the anime. And again, I really like Magna Ingeomon. And this is basically his battle mode. I sh I'll show you the priest mode in a bit. And Magna Ingeomon or Holy Ingeomon is able to use his sword Excalibur to slice up a uh, Sephirothmon from inside. And yeah, everyone is free. And we get to see this uh, data data stream from Sephiroth's, uh, Sephirothmon's body being absorbed by another part of Sephirothmon's body, which basically tells you that yeah some sort of data even though it was uh, corrupted was uh, was able to be collected by the evil digimon before the episode ends we see that Inge uh, magna ingeomon is having this conversation with devimon because again devimon is part of uh, magna ingeomon and i guess uh, this weird relationship will continue as the episodes uh, proceed I'm not really sure. But yeah, I really like this episode because it was basically, if you want to relate it to the real world, it's basically about how every human has uh, a dark side and a good side and the fight between the dark side and the good side is uh, uh, is ever continuing you have to work hard if you need to counter the dark parts of yourself in order for the light part of yourself to shine the previous episode where we saw metal gururamon that was basically a, a, the D a digimon adventure's take on uh, performance enhancing drugs and all of that stuff and how that can really cause you harm and i like i like that team in the previous episode and in this and in this episode yeah i really like the theme of how you need to address you need to address the darkness inside of yourself if you want to become a better person so this is magna ingeomon's battle mode and this is magna ingeomon's priest mode so i'm not really sure if you'll get to see priest mode in this anime but yeah, I'm excited to see uh, Magna Ingeomon unlock its uh, Mega Evolution. Now, according to certain reports, the Mega Evolution that Ingeomon is going to get, it's possibly not going to be uh, Seraphimon. Maybe Takiro will get Seraphimon and also one of those Holy Dragon uh, Digimon. Who knows? But yeah, I'm excited to see what's going to happen next. Like, this anime only has 60 episodes and we are quite close to the finale and I just can't wait for everyone to get their mega evolutions and then everyone will come together to try and fight Millennium on and yeah exciting stuff anyway let me know what you thought of the episode down in the comment section below and until next time stay happy stay safe stay blessed see you guys later